Good evening. I want to welcome to uh, Jerusalem our dear friends, uh, the president of uh, Cyprus, uh, President uh, Anastasiadis Nikos, the Prime Minister of Greece, uh, Prime Minister Tsipras, Alexis, and the U.S. Uh, Secretary of State, uh, Mike Pompeo. It's good to see you all here. Uh, this is the sixth summit meeting between Israel, uh, Cyprus, and Greece. Uh, we began this a few years ago, and it's blossomed into uh, one of the best regional associations in the world. We cooperate in everything from uh, firefighting now to energy. We are planning to lay down a pipeline. It's called the East Med Pipeline from uh, Israel through Cyprus, through Greece, to Europe, uh, something that will benefit our economies greatly, uh, provide stability for the region uh, and prosperity to our peoples, but also uh, we think would diversify the uh, energy supplies to Europe. The fact that we are joined in this meeting by the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, Mike Pompeo, I think is significant. It signifies the fact that the United States uh, supports this regional effort, uh, and it has many, many uh, facets that we're going to discuss. And I think that it uh, says that this is something for the long haul. Uh, obviously, uh, we would welcome uh, the association, not only of the United States, but other countries, something that we're going to discuss as soon as we uh, complete the open part of this meeting. So welcome, friends. Uh, it's good to see you again. And we're planning our next meeting as we speak. Nikos, please. This is indeed a great moment. And I want to thank my very good friend, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, or my dearest friend, Bibi, for convening this very historic meeting in Jerusalem. We are um, delighted to have the American Secretary of State, Mr. Mike Pompeo, joining us today. Uh, his presence is a um, tangible proof uh, that our three countries uh, constitute reliable partners uh, to the United States, particularly in the fields of energy and security, and an anchor of stability in the Eastern Mediterranean. Our vision and actions of our, uh, an Eastern Mediterranean energy corridor is an excellent example in this respect. I want to assure of Cyprus unwavering commitment to this uh, reliable and solid partnership uh, that aims uh, through tangible uh, actions to generate much needed security, stability and prosperity in our turbulent uh, region. This is our uh, grand scale vision and we are extremely happy that the Secretary of State is here to endorse its uh, geopolitical value on behalf of the United States and I look forward uh, to a productive discussion on issues uh, of uh, common interests such as um, energy security, full respect of uh, sovereign rights and the protection of energy and marine activities, and of course, the diversification of energy. Once again, thank you, Bibi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I want to thank uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, it is not the first time, I, I cannot count how many times I have been in Jerusalem. This is the sixth time that we are meeting together in this uh, strategic uh, trilateral cooperation. So, I'm feeling so familiar here in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, I think that uh, in the last uh, years, uh, the role uh, our countries uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, together and uh, individually, has become stronger. Uh, our cooperation has become uh, strategic, our trilateral cooperation has become strategic, and particularly in the fields of uh, energy and security. The participation of uh, Secretary of State uh, uh, Mr. Pompeo underlines the United States support in our strategic cooperation. And uh, this participation, uh, I think that will strengthen uh, our efforts and our dialogue, especially uh, on the field of energy, but not only security and economy 
as well. Uh, our challenges that uh, uh, we have ahead, and I think that the region have uh, uh, a lot of challenges, but also important opportunities. Our basic ideas idea is very simple, but very significant as well. The idea is to create uh, a safe and secure network to transport the energy resources of the region of uh, Eastern Mediterranean to Europe, from uh, Israel through Cyprus, through Greece, to Europe. And I think that the establishment of uh, the East Med pipeline uh, can help both security dialogue and the economic development uh, of the region. So I look uh, forward to uh, our discussions uh, in this uh, uh, regard. And I think that uh, our discussion could be beneficial not only in uh, uh, the energy field, but uh, uh, about security, safety, uh, stability, and uh, economic uh, development uh, of the region as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you for hosting us here in Jerusalem. I, uh, I'm looking forward to our discussion. Uh, Prime Minister Cyprus, uh, President Anastasiadis, you don't know, but uh, about a week ago I spoke in Houston, Texas, to a big group of energy leaders from all around the world talking about opportunities and projects just like this, about how energy connects up with uh, our security interests in America and how uh, the opportunities to create energy in places that we hadn't had it before and transport it and create the infrastructure in places that we've not had it before uh, is an enormous benefit. I, I think this is incredibly timely. Uh, revisionist powers like Iran and Russia and China are all trying to obtain major footholds in the East and in the West. Uh, and we view the United States and Israel and the Republic of Cyprus and Greece as great key partners in security and prosperity. So I'm very much looking forward to our conversation this evening. Uh, as we cooperate on these important energy issues, I know we'll improve our security and prosperity even more broadly between our four nations. Uh, we, we believe this deeply. When uh, free countries uh, with free markets act together, and work to develop infrastructure for energy, uh, greater security always follows. And I know this too, if we do this right, uh, we will attract the investment uh, that will maximize these resources in a way uh, that good infrastructure and our open markets always do. Uh, I look forward to cooperating with each of you in this opportunity in the Eastern Mediterranean. Thank you for allowing me to be here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, and thank you all. Thank you.